Hey guys, got a bit of a different video for you today. Here's a 120 kV x-ray transformer that came out of a dental head from the early 80s, I believe it was. This isn't the one you've seen in my previous videos that came out of uh, the penaural head that I tore down. This one's a bit different. A friend of mine had, had taken the time to uh, to extract it for me and send it over, which was very nice of him to do that, so thank you again. So it's taken me quite a while to uh, prepare it properly between vacuuming it and uh, finding the right container. Finding the right container was quite a challenge. Right now, this is just a cooler. <laughs> it's nice though, it's got a handle. That comes in pretty handy. A bit of Lexan for a cover here. The primary and secondary. The whole process so far has taken me just about two weeks between acquiring everything that I need to get it going but the results are pretty impressive. I'm happy with it so far. I don't like to turn it above 70 volts or so. But even at that, some pretty good arcs ballasted. But I find it funny that uh, this older transformer, the one you guys have seen before, is only 90 kV and is substantially heavier. This one is a bit lighter, and it's 120 kV. They're both from around the same timeline as well. Eventually I'll get uh, the right container for this. That's a challenge because it's an awkward shape. Well, alright. Enough talking about it. Let's turn it on. This little clip here. Put the camera in the tripod real quick for you. Again, we have the Fariac as a ballast, and the other one here to control the voltage. Hopefully, this camera focuses well. I know sometimes in my previous videos. The camera doesn't quite like the flashes of light from the arcs and tends to go out of focus pretty quickly, but uh, I'll try and keep an eye on that. Alright, I'll plug it in. I'm sorry about that. I just now realize I probably should have told you to uh, turn your volume down a bit. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Let's uh, turn it off real quick. Remove this clip. See if we can get it to jump that distance. I think we probably can. Turn it back on.
not too bad. That was actually, let's see here, we'll measure it. Five inch, five inches. Well, okay guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed that one. Put a ton of work into this, so hopefully you'll be uh, seeing some more videos of this transformer in the future. And I'll keep you all updated as to when I find the right container for the other transformer there I showed you. Thanks again. Stay safe, guys, and thanks again for watching.